guys, it's Lauren and you're watching Dreams Books Courage and right now I am starting my vlog for the holiday booktubeathon. It is currently 12.34 at night on Thursday, December 29th. So booktubeathon has only been on for about 34 minutes for me and so I've decided that my first read for booktubeathon is going to be Milk and Honey by Ruby Carr. But yeah, I was gonna go and buy this like in a physical form but I didn't want to drive too far. So, alas, I didn't and I just bought it on my Kindle. So, I know it's split up into four parts, so I would like to read one part a day. I want to read one part tonight and then read one part tomorrow when it's actually the daytime, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that because I just don't know how much I'm going to want to read tonight. I've never read a poetry collection that's not like a classic author, so I'm really excited for this one, and I will get back to you guys and let you know how it's going. Okay, so now it is 12.50, and I'm already done with the first chapter of Milk and Honey. The first chapter is The Hurting, which I'm assuming is probably going to be the hardest one to read, and I've already finished it, um, but it was quite hard to read. Um, because it's very just sad and I don't want to get into specifics it's just hard to read because it deals with things of rape and just how women are marginalized and things like that and I feel very blessed that I've never really had to like go through those things to like a large extent or anything close to like what is discussed within that chapter but I cannot imagine that is it just like hurts me and makes me sad and I feel sympathetic to women who do feel like that but yeah that was definitely a very hard chapter to read but I'm glad that I read it. I hope a lot of guys read this because I feel like, like they can definitely learn something from it but I did really like that chapter. Let me find one of the things I bookmarked. Okay so I found the poem in here that I just wanted to read because I thought it was really nice. Such a sweetie. Okay, anyways. Like the need to read this poem. Anyways, the poem says, You tell me to quiet down because my opinions make me less beautiful. But I was not made with a fire in my belly so I could be put out. I was not made with a lightness on my tongue so I could be easy to swallow. I was made heavy, half blade, and half silk. Difficult to forget and not easy for the mind to follow. I just really like that one from that section. That was probably my favorite part of that section but yeah I'm definitely looking forward to the other sections a bit more I mean I understand like how important like the section of the hurting and everything is but I'm just like such a person that like doesn't like sad things that I just want to get to the happy parts you know but of course to get to those happy parts you need to go through the sad parts at times in real life especially so that was a great chapter though and I did really like it and I am really liking the poetry so far. The only thing, and this is more of a personal thing, but sometimes there's like poems that at the end they do have a title and then sometimes there's not and so I'm like is this just like part of one poem until it gets to a title or is that just like an untitled poem? I don't know. Like that part I just read that didn't have like a title or anything at the end so I don't know if it's like part of a poem in general or what that is but yeah so that that was like the only thing that like kind of confused me and maybe there's just a lot of untitled poems or it's just more like a book I'm not sure if you do know definitely tell me down below but either way I am enjoying it and I'm definitely looking forward to the other sections and now I'm probably going to read City of Bones maybe I'm gonna watch a YouTube video first and then think about it but yeah, I think I'll probably read a little bit of City of Bones. So I'm not done for tonight. I'll probably go to sleep around 2 because I'm not really doing anything in the morning tomorrow. So yeah. Okay, so now it's 1.47 in the morning. I am definitely about to go to sleep. I read a little bit of City of Bones. I only read like 8 pages because I just did not read for very long and I just really wasn't in the mood for it. But anyways, since there are like not very many words on the pages within Milk and Honey. I ended up reading around 38 pages of that today and 8 pages of City of Bones. So I've read about 46 pages so far today, which is definitely not bad, 
for the first day of Booktubeathon, considering that the day has only just begun. Literally, it's only like 2 in the morning. <laughs> so I hope that I will be getting a lot more reading done tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be starting a series of unfortunate events, or if I just want to finish up City of Bones, even though it really does not count towards any of the challenges, but it is my current read and I really do want to finish that before I start another series. But right now I'm going to sleep, so I'll see you guys in the mid-morning or the afternoon. Hey guys, it's officially day one of Booktubeathon, and obviously it was last night too, but now it's like actually the daytime, and really it's more like the nighttime. I have not been reading or really doing much of anything today. I've just been feeling pretty bad, so I just have not been in the mood to do anything except for like watch YouTube videos, but obviously I do want to read some today and so that's what I'm about to be doing. I'm planning on starting out my day of reading by reading the second chapter of Milk and Honey by Ruby Carr which is The Loving and I doubt this will take me very long because the first chapter only took about 20 minutes to read and so I'm hoping that this will be a little bit happier than the first chapter was so I'll get back to you guys after I finish it. I'm back and I read the chapter of The Loving. I definitely enjoyed it more than I enjoyed the hurting chapter. I didn't really expect it to be about like both physical and mental love. I thought it'd be more just like mental love because that's what a lot of poetry is, but it's fine that it was physical love. I feel like it was definitely quite realistic poetry, but still I'm not sure if it's my favorite. Like I like the writing and everything. It's very, very realistic, but it might be a little bit too real for me. I don't know. But there are a lot of things that I do relate to in it. A lot more in this chapter than in the previous chapter. I'll read you one of my favorite poems, which is the type of lover I need. I need someone who knows struggle as well as I do. Someone willing to hold my feet in their lap on days it is too difficult to stand. The type of person who gives exactly what I need before I even know I need it. The type of lover who hears me, even when I do not speak, is the type of understanding I demand. So I really like that poem, and there are quite a few ones that I bookmarked in this chapter that I really liked. So that's all I'm going to be reading of Milk and Honey tonight. So I think besides that, I'll probably be reading City of Bones at some point tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to read it right now. I do need to do quite a lot of editing tonight. So we'll see how much I get done with that. I also wanted to point out, I'm not sure if you could tell from the little clip I showed, but I do talk out loud when I'm reading poetry. That's what my poetry professor told us to do because then you can really get a lot more out of the poems, especially if they have alliteration or things like that in them. So I am reading all this aloud and I am really enjoying doing that. I would definitely suggest that to you if you read any type of poetry. But yeah, I will update you guys when I'm either doing YouTube stuff or I'm doing more reading. But right now, I'm probably just gonna chill for a few minutes because I'm feeling really lazy and not so good today. Okay so I took a little break and now I'm about to edit some videos. For those of you who do not know I have a second channel called Dreams Life Courage. I'll leave a link to it down below but right now I'm editing a video for that channel and after I do that I need to edit a video for my booktube channel so there's a lot of editing happening. I'll probably only do about an hour and then maybe read some more. As I said before, I'm just really not in the mood to do much today, but I just gotta power through and get these things done. Not that I find it to be a chore, but it's just like I'm not in the mood for anything today. But I do really like the two videos that I am editing, so it should still be somewhat fun. And I love YouTube and making YouTube videos. And I thought I would just add the YouTube things that I'm doing throughout these three days as well, since that is a big part of BookTube, or at least that's like half of what BookTube is. So yeah, you will be seeing some of that as well.
guys, it is now 9 o'clock and I was planning on reading after I edited for an hour, but that did not happen. I did edit for an hour, but then I like went on YouTube and played on my 3DS, so I definitely was not reading. I just wasn't really in the mood and I really haven't been that much in the mood to read. But now I'm going back to editing because I need to edit two videos, as I said before, tonight. And I'm not sure that's going to happen because editing takes such a long time. But I really need to edit these videos because one was supposed to go up today and one is supposed to go up tomorrow. I'm not sure that's going to happen, but I at least want to put them both up by Saturday. So instead of reading during this marathon, it seems like I'm mostly going to be editing and filming and doing that sort of thing instead. But either way, I still will be filming it to show you guys like why I'm not reading for one thing during the book marathon but also because I think it's really interesting whenever you see like what a youtuber really has to do even a small one like myself so that is what I'm going to be doing now It's Lauren and the last time you saw me it was day one of the book a thon and now it is January 2nd So I obviously failed at vlogging all of my book a thon But I also barely read anything after day one because as I said before I knew I was going to be busy and guess what happened? I was busy so I really did not have that much time to read. The only thing that I was reading during book a thon was Milk and Honey by Ruby Carr. I did end up finishing this, but I finished it last night of January 1st, not during the book a thon but after, so I'll be talking about this in my January wrap-up. So I basically failed all of book a thon I did not complete any of the challenges, and I also did not vlog as much as I wanted to. Obviously, I'm still putting up the footage of what I did vlog, so I do hope that you guys still enjoyed this vlog, although I did not do as much as I wanted to. I would love to know down below if you like me vlogging and if you'd want to see more vlogs on this channel. I'm also going to be occasionally doing vlogs on my second channel, so I'll leave a link to that channel down below if you want to see vlogs on that channel in the future, because I will probably be doing more vlogs on that channel than I will be doing on this channel. But I do hope that you enjoyed seeing my progress through day one of Booktubeathon, although I did not film anything after that. Hopefully I'll be able to do Booktubeathon during the summer and do better then. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And now I'm going to go get back to reading.